For this standby, we're riding on the train with the family. When solving physics problems, it's always important to consider the frame of reference. When we're here riding on the train, we're in a frame of reference that's moving at a constant speed. The ground outside represents another frame of reference that's sitting still. The crazy thing about the laws of physics is that they're the same in more than one reference frame. Hey Leo, can I see that? Here on the train, if I take this apple and throw it straight in the air, the laws of physics will describe its motion. It just goes straight up and down. To an observer outside watching that same thing, the apple would have appeared to go up in the air and back down in a big arc. But the exact same laws of physics would apply. We call these both inertial reference frames, which means one frame is moving at a constant speed with respect to the other. If someone was standing outside and they threw an apple straight into the air and back down, to me it would look like that apple was going in a parabolic trajectory. But again, the same laws of physics would apply. This is a really powerful idea in physics. It shows how universal the laws of physics really are. Uh oh, there goes the apple. That's like gone, dude. It just like went. In fact, it was when thinking about frames of reference that Einstein discovered his special theory of relativity. He was wondering what would happen if someone shined a light outside when a train was going by. Would people outside and on the train measure the same speed of light? Einstein eventually showed that to make all the physics work, time actually slows down for a moving observer. It's amazing how simple questions from everyday experience can lead to profound conclusions.